Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com, and welcome. I thought I would do a review of the gap I did actually two days in a row now. So it was a gap yesterday that was a new gap, and today I did it as a continuation gap because it just really set up very nicely, and this is just bleeding down now. The target for this, the overall target is $6. It's a lot to expect of that in one day. Um, the stock has had a big move um, in the last two days here. Um, and had a nice trade in it yesterday and today. So here it is. So looking at the overall picture, yesterday the stock gapped up, I mean, I gapped down, but rallied first. And that's okay. It rallied and still held a resistance area. In fact, the highest resistance area I'd written down for this was 750. And it ran up there and held. So there was a nice short setup in here to play down with a good risk reward into the, into the afternoon. I was out of this by lunch. I did not redo this, but this I, I was looking at this and I said, crap, I should have redid this. Um, had a nice setup yesterday afternoon and then dropped into the close. I typically do not uh, trade in the afternoon. So I saw it, you know, as soon as I got out of it and then I was rallying lunch, I saw it, but I didn't go back into it. Was a nice trade though, and bled in the broken new low into the close. So many, many times, what happens is when these break the first day, if they don't go to the full on target the first day, you can watch them to trade this next day. And so that's what I did today. And today it did something beautiful too, which is what held. Look, this area of resistance right in here. Here's the open of today. This is 9:30. Open and dropped. Boop. Had a beautiful, beautiful entry in this today. If you were aggressive, I did it first thing, but the volume was low. I waited till the volume came in and then did it. And I had a five cent stop and it's continuing to break. So the low right now is 671. I got out of this already. And uh, again, bigger target on this is $6. It's certainly going to get there. The next target actually is 664. That's a number. 664 is a number, 650 and $6. So this is one you could actually be in for a swing trade. Uh, you know, that since the day of the gap, which was yesterday. Beautiful trade. Somebody said something to me once about going back and I do video reviews. Uh, I do have a few tapes, actually two. I have two tapes of The Room online on YouTube. If you ever want to listen to me, I had taped The Room. They're four hours long, but I did tape The Room twice uh, for people to listen to. But Obviously, I'm not taping myself trading live every day. That doesn't make sense. I have to focus on what I'm doing and I'm running the trading room. Uh, but someone said something about me doing trade reviews after the fact. Well, I run a live trading room. There's a substantial amount of people that are in my live trading room. So when I do trade reviews, it's of trades that I did because I'm putting them on YouTube. So since I run a live trading room where people then are in there, they would know if I put a video out there to say that I did a trade that I didn't do because there's people in the room with me and quite a few. So seriously, you know, when I do a trade review and say I did a trade, I did a trade and I did it in the room and the people in the room know that I did it because they either did it with me or watched me do it. Now, there's times that I will review different charts that I did not do, but I never say I did a trade in a video that I didn't do. So I did this today and yesterday, and it was a nice trade. So if anyone has any questions or would like to learn more about trading and trading gaps and how to find gaps like MDR, MDR rated very well. In fact, what was MDR? I don't know. I have to go back here and look at the sheet. I'm a little disorganized here today. It was over 21, though. I know that. I don't remember. It's either 20, I want to say 22 or 23. I don't remember. This got a lot of points. This was a great gap. So it's going to get to the $6. It's just uh, not going to get there in, in, in a day uh, because obviously this is a little bit of a snail, but that's okay. Anyways, if you'd like more information, feel free to email me at melissa at thestockswish.com and reach out to me if you'd like to learn how to trade gaps. I teach a class on how to trade gaps. I teach my rating system in the class. It's a two-day course. The next class is coming up the August 17th and 18th. And if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.